the desert seems like a lonely place. But sometimes that's just a mirage. All right, here we go. <laughs> that's what we discovered when we came to Apollo High School in Glendale, Arizona. The baseball program here is known for two things, consistency and intensity. Our kids are hard-nosed kids, hard-working kids, come from very good families. Coach tells us no matter how much we're up by or how much we're down by, just never give up. Be humble and always hustle is something they believe in. And there's someone they believe in even more. Oh. Meet Julian Areves Beltran, perhaps the most popular person in the whole school. Is it? You're not supposed to have your favorites, you know, but he is one of my favorites. Julian has Down syndrome, but instead of trying to fit in, he's been able to stand out. Whether he's playing his accordion, <laughs> or playing ball with his guys. Yes, I'm the ball! It's my guys, it's my friends. The Hawks players are his best friends. Guys, come here. But he always sits at the same lunch table with those guys. And this is my friend, this is my school. This is your school? Yeah, this is my school. <laughs> so heartwarming, man. Like, no matter what happens, he's always happy, and it's, it rubs off on everyone. Hey, Mano. <laughs> this is my guy. <laughs> the team loves having Julian around, no matter how the season is going, and no matter who the team is playing, including the one team they want to beat there we go. There we go. more than the rest. Good job. Just six miles from Apollo, you will find Sunny Slope High School. One, 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 one. You will also find another great baseball tradition. Keep the tempo up. I feel like we're usually competing for a chance to play in the state tournament and, and make a run. Back to it, coming at you, Shill. Coach Jeff Shillington calls the rivalry with Apollo heated but healthy. But about 10 years ago, it was just heated. Their guy was on the mound, and uh, I felt like he balked. And so I said something to the umpire as the kid was pitching, which was, you know, me being young and uh, energetic. And uh, I said, he balked. And coach immediately yelled at me, you know, don't, don't yell at my players, something to that effect, uh, I believe. I was fired up after the game. Hey, wait, stay with it. Over time, though, as the two coaches built their programs, they also built a close friendship based on mutual respect, which is why when Coach Aker needed a favor recently, he called Coach Shillington. And there's some coaches would be like, well, you know, I don't know. And he, I, I knew he would say, let's roll with it. Apollo and Sunny Slope often meet in the final game of the regular season with the region title on the line. And in their last six meetings, their head-to-head -head record is three and three. But as Coach Akers was preparing his team for this year's rivalry game, he had something else on his mind. Julian. Julian had watched some games from the stands, some from the dugout, but there's one thing he wanted to do more than anything else, get into a game. Julian, you want to break it down for us? Yeah. And so it was, even on the season's biggest stage, plans were made to give Julian his time in the spotlight. I had said, hey, do you want to just have Julian lead off? You know, get it going with the game, and um, then we'll just start the game. And Jeff's like, heck no. Let's have him lead off the bottom of the first. No one was more excited for Julian than Julian's guys. But the Sunny Slope players were also very much on board. Okay. I just thought it was cool to help somebody out like this. Julian showed up with the team, got dressed with the team, and wanted to do his part for the team. I'm going to hit it, I'm going to run, and get it at a base. And in the bottom of the first, in front of an eager crowd, on the third pitch, that's exactly what he did. Just one of the greatest things I've ever been a part of. I'll never forget it. 
Um, just seeing him run those bases so happy. Yeah, we knew kind of let him run, so maybe throw the ball into right field and then let him get to third or drop one or something like that. So seeing him happy and running the bases was probably the most best experience of my life. And even though it wasn't going on the scoreboard, this was one run that really counted. He crossed home. It was like nothing I've ever experienced. It was the happiest I've ever been, the happiest I've ever seen him. When the game finally resumed, it was Sunny Slope that went on to win the region title. But they weren't the only winners that night. It's a good perspective builder for them. I can make them very single-minded during the season sometimes. And so it's nice for them to open that bubble up. To see Julian have success and Julian be truly happy uh, meant the world to me. Do you think you'll remember this for a long time? Yes. On this journey in the desert, the footprints will last. The right people doing the right thing turned a moment into a memory.